You know, my dad always said I had a one-track mind. And in today's video, I'm going to share the plans I have upcoming for the channel for Target Suite. And I'm going to explain how that one-track mind has affected our relationship. Hi, George here, and welcome to Tales from Target Suite, where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting, and we'll have an adventure or two that will make even a grown man smile. And yes, I'm smiling to be back making videos again, but I have been distracted because my wife came down with pneumonia, and it's been a rough few weeks, but uh, she's on the mend, and uh, so I'm making a quick video, and I want to thank my channel friend, Ken, Callaway Ken is how he goes, what he goes by. And uh, Ken reached out to me and said, um, if I could translate, he said, hey, knucklehead, you know, you could at least put out a video letting us know where you are and that everything is okay. And so uh, I apologize for, um, for abandoning um, you, my faithful, but, um, but the reason was because I've been pretty busy with my wife. But again, uh, things seem to be on the mend, and we're back uh, back home from the hospital. So uh, let me tell you what we what I do have planned, and you can see I've got a new Savage 99 new to the channel, and this one comes from a friend of mine, Clint. You've met him on this channel before, the Lever Action Hunter, and he loaned me this <laughs> this 308. Um, Savage Model 99, and uh, so we're going to be making some content with it featuring these crazy modern bullets from the True Velocity. And so I can't wait to dig into those rounds and see what that technology is all about. Plastic bullets in a rifle that's 127, the design is 127 years old, go figure. But that's one of the things we're going to do. I'm also going to break out the, the uh, Morocco Winchester uh, 1892 44 Magnum and we're going to take a close look at the FTX bullet 44 caliber and see how that performs and if you watched my video it had a title some silly title about pointy bullets in a 30 and 357 carbine then if you watch that one to the end you know that I shot I have two 20 inch barrel 357 Magnums and um, one of them is the Morocco Winchester, the other is a Rossi, and I did some chronograph work. The Rossi, velocities out of the Rossi were almost 120 feet per second slower with the same bullet as they were out of the Winch Morocco Winchester. And so in the comments, you guys and girls really jumped in with all kinds of theories on why that might be. And so I slugged the barrel of both the Rossi and the Winchester. I've got the chamber slugs right here and the the barrel slugs right here, and we're going to compare dimensions between these and see if we can find out why those guns perform so differently with the same ammo. And that's going to be at the end of our 44 Magnum FTX video. And then what else do we have? We have a we have a replacement lever from Ranger Point Precision, and I'm going to put it on the Marlin guide gun. This is an old design that they have been selling for a long time, and they assure me that it fits the new Marlins. So we're going to find out if it does, and, uh, and I'll tell you what I think, because one thing you know is I'm not a big fan of the big loop lever guns, of the big loops that are on, on the modern lever guns today. So that's coming up. 4570 stuff. Can't beat it. And then we're going to break out... And then we're going to break out the uh, Ruger Blackhawk 357 Magnum. Great gun. And it's got some new leather. So I'll be sporting that, making some fun content. And one thing I wanted to ask you guys and girls, if you would, let me know what you think about 22 vintage 22 uh, rifles. I've got, uh, um, I've got quite a few. In fact, I picked up a new one. It's a, uh, it's a Remington Model 512 and it came with a really nice Redfield peep sight on it. And uh, man, we have had a blast shooting at 200 yards, shooting steel target at 200 yards with that gun. Man, oh man, what a heap of fun. It's not the same kind of exciting content as with, I'm pointing over there because I've got a stack of lever guns over there on my wife's sewing table. 
Um, but it's not the same kind of fun, but let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more 22 long rifle, 22 Magnum uh, content on the channel. But that's kind of what's coming up in the future and um, can't wait to get back to the farm. We're going to try to get back there the first part of this week and make some shooting content. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you there. In the meantime, thanks for being patient with me. Thanks for, um, uh, yeah, just thanks for being patient watching my stuff. I'm getting close to 50,000 subs. It's crazy to think that that's happening. But um, anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.